Maybe I'm not going to get this phone working. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do this, so I might have to change the game. <laughs> okay, I thought that might be fine, but it's not working for me, and it's not I'm letting not me like, play of it, so. I'm not going to be able to do this, so I might have to change the game. So I might have to. I thought that might be fine, but it's not working for me. So I might have to change stuff. Um. So let's change the game then. Uh, maybe I'll play some Slime Rancher instead. Because. <laughs> well, it could be Dragon Age. Actually, I'll go with Dragon Age just because it's a bit more horror y and, you know, it's cool. Okay, if I start again. Um. So I am there. Uh, I feel stupid because I am such a noob, um, which makes things so obvious. <laughs> to the main page la la ah, da, da, da. Come on. 
that coming up or is it not now yet? Uh, yeah, it's allowing it. Okay, cool. Uh, just need to change the size of that because OBS is saying no, it's got to be like a certain size. And I'm like, no, it can be full screen. Okay. It's being a pain. Okay. Um, I'm only keeping this. Yeah, but I can, might have to come back and forth just to switch me around. But yeah. Yay! Okay, that's done. Sorted. That's just annoying. Okay. Uh, let's do the main game. I might change myself around, but we'll see. Um, so yeah. I love Dragon Age. Obsessed with Dragon Age. I have played a lot of Dragon Age. Um, the PC one is so much superior to like the Xbox 361. That was happening when I got the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. centuries Jeez. since that victory and we have kept our vigil we have watched and waited for the dark spot Look at those to return static trees. but those who once called us heroes like. have forgotten <laughs> we are few now and our warnings have been ignored for too long on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Okay, so the fun bit character. Okay, so I have been human Mage and like a Google. Uh, um, I've been elf and a Dalish elf. I haven't been a noble dwarf. I've been ones that like li lived in the slums. Um, don't know, what's the other option? I know it's just human, noble, whatever. Uh, unless you're a mage, obviously. Yeah. Uh, 
Next one's either like, oh, you're Dalish, or uh, Dalish Elf, or your City Elf, yeah, which I've done both uh, in the past. Um, the funny thing, only small things are different in the PT one, where it's like there's more content to a point. Thing. Um, I have got the all the DLC, so extras I've also got as well. But yeah, I did Dwarf Commoner. I uh, haven't done Dwarf Noble before, so I might do that. Change it up, do something new. Uh, uh, I'm more of a warrior person. Okay. So yeah. Uh, no, dwarf Noble is a favoured child of the Dwarf and King. You proudly take up your first military command, only to learn that the deadly injuries family and skills may pose a greater danger than even the battlefield. Okay, so yeah, there's Brilliant. a lot of complications. Okay, I always find the ball ones quite funny too, I don't know why. Uh, my face. Tattoos, I always like tattoos are. There's not actually that many for this one. The elephants are usually quite cool because they have like intricate tattoos, but like dwarf and sort of like big and bulky. <laughs> I like that one actually. It's like it looks like it's kind of scarred. Um, Since I'm called everything the Cornish, I should go down like pink, shouldn't I? Oh, that's a... Yep, sucker up pink, there we go. I'm not going to change too much, I just care too much. Just do big ears, big neck, small neck. I'm just done big ears because most people have big ears. I almost like the expressions more. I like that expression, I'll give you that one. It looks goofy. <laughs> uh, I should not be. Yes, that's what we need in our life. Just <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Serena. Uh, unicorn ish. I'm gonna put it as unicorn ish because I can. Uh, how do you do? Greetings. Charmed. Some of these things don't really Greetings. sound too many, too different. Greetings. How do you do? Uh, I prefer the copy voice, whatever though. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so I've got magic. I'm so used to being to a mage. I prefer being a mage, so I will show a lot. Uh, power. Uh, is it cunning? Okay, so I could learn actually a new school. Okay, uh, that's usually a good thing to have, whatever. Um, powerful, uh, so striking. 
tell me what kind of person. Oh, I've got another one as well. Uh, Magic Flow. Actually, that one's hot. Uh, I'll keep it to normal because the most annoying thing for me of this is like the keyboard controls where sometimes you, you can just easily just tap on another character and it's like, what? Deep beneath the Frostbag Mountains sits Ozimar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Ozimar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Ozimar's impregnable construction, the dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endron of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the Noble Assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics. Greetings, my lady. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? <laughs> yeah, I probably will, because... <laughs> you sure that's all you want me to do to you? <laughs> you, my friend, are ridiculous. One can't take all this marching about and speech-making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. Out and about. I saw them on my way here, browsing the shops. As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Rumor has it that Harrowmont hopes you'll be swept off your feet if a well-placed young nobleman wins the provings in your honor. <laughs> no, that's not likely Still, it to could be fun to watch, shall we? With you as always, my lady. The day is ours until the feast. Okay, I can make that. Well, so yeah, controlling members, because we can go we. That face is just the best face, because <laughs> he looks so serious, and it's just like, <laughs> I don't give a crap. Um, yes. So I know most of the basics. Do I have anything in my... Okay, so I already got health potions, cool. Just put those there. I literally have nothing else. Okay, cool. Uh... Oh, there's a little mission there. Just of these. That's cool. At your service. Good day, Lady Idukan. Lady Idukan. Ancestors watch over you, my lady. I am at your service. Same voice actor for the two guards. Uh, old days, you know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you were Prince Balin coming down the hall. I... forgive me.
She's, uh... It seems she's one of your brother Balin's newest, um... Companions. Prince Balin is attending the feast being held in Lady Iduken's honor. Yes, of... of course. <laughs> it was presumptuous of me to think that he would return to... I am sorry. I will show myself out. With your leave, my lady. Thank you. I will go now. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, there's nothing shiny in here. Sad day. <sighs> like a lot of this, you probably know anyway if you played any of these games. Because it's like I am at your service. You have to come here eventually and sort out like the family. Congratulations on being named commander, my lady. Think, so. Ancestors watch over you, my lady. So, yeah. I am at your service. I am at your service. Yeah, you keep saying you're at my service, but you don't give me a key, so no, you're not at my service. Please stop lying. I am proud to serve the I do like the architect, it's like he's quite inspired. You sure you want to go to the feast now? I doubt we can escape to see the provings once we're inside. Oh, yeah, Can't yeah. wait to see who's fighting today. Right. Remember to leave the building. Uh. Your father has allowed the merchants to show their wares in the diamond quarter during these celebrations. Okay, cool. Um. Sure, we can work this out reasonably. It's in the records. There's nothing I can do. Please, Master Volney. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Volney. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lady Iduken, you can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of Iduken, Paragon King, Peacemaker. This worm has written a book that slanders my house. It doesn't matter, it's all lies. My work tells the stories of all those raised to Paragons in the last 500 years. When the Assembly names a Paragon, that man or woman is then, by definition, everything one can aspire to be in the world. They form their own noble houses, and are revered as living ancestors. But Paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. Idukin was much loved, but he was still a man. He was plagued by melancholy, and his fervor regarding Orzammar's safety bordered on obsession. When Idukin was proposed as a Paragon, only one lord in the assembly objected. The others savagely hacked him to death. Idukin's motion passed without a single dissenting vote. Unlike Volney, is that what you mean, old man? Volney became a paragon by the narrowest margin in history. One vote. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of it and are a matter of fact. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. You're taking his side? What if he published a book like this about your paragon Iduken? You would not say so if it was your house. But I shall respect your wishes. For now. Excuse me, your highness. That fool has no idea how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Shall I have him killed, my lady? As you say. You've shown House Iduken a friend to research, history, and the glory of our people. Of course. I have much to document and organize. Good day, Your Highness. And thank you. Uh, 
dyed with the finest saffron and indigo and embroidered by skilled elven tradesmen. I've seen Prince Balin Iduken himself wearing a robe made of something quite similar. So I pay your exorbitant price, only to end up looking like a poor imitation of Prince Balin. <laughs> You'll get no coin from me. But that's not what I meant, my lord. My lord! It's so interesting to see a lady chosen to be commander. Nothing beats a good set of steel cutlery. My lady Iduken, you honor me by visiting my humble booth. May I show you my wares? All ladies love a bit of silk, do they not? Lady Iduken is a warrior, born of steel and bred for battle. A thousand pardons, please forgive me, your highness. This looks to be mostly fabrics from the human lands. These merchants form alliances with those who have abandoned our ways to live on the surface. According to the scholars, more than 500. Does it matter? The surfacers are lost to us. Perhaps we should get going. Our trust follow, big sister. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my sibling's second, I will ask for it. Yes, Your Highness. Your lack of a sense of duty to your house is obvious. I can't imagine why you are receiving a commission. I expect after tomorrow I'll spend much time apologizing to the heads of the noble houses for the deaths of their children under your incompetent command. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, Trian? As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you, get to the feast! I'd advise you to watch that tongue, dear sibling. Father will not live forever. Come, Balin. That was fun. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. That it is. Let's get back to enjoying it, shall we? What about that one? I doubt he's a... Greetings, my lady. May I say you look striking today. Is this your paramour? He wears both his van braces, unmarried and eligible. I'm flattered, ladies, but I'm not a noble. I'm a knight of the warrior caste. Warrior caste isn't bad. Tally, we didn't pay gold for these permits to take warrior caste. I guess you're right. Sorry, sir. Not exactly, my lady. They're noble hunters, my lady. Because a man takes his caste from his father, they hope to bear a noble lord's son. If a noble hunter succeeds, she is raised up to join the house as a concubine to care for her son. It brings new swords to a house, so many nobles look favorably on such women. Yes, my lady. Good luck, girls. My lady, are you heading to the Proving Arena? We have been charged with the task of escorting you to the Proving Grounds. I clean forgot about that. Forgive me, I should have informed you sooner. The King decided you were not to travel through the commons unguarded. <laughs> Will we be leaving then? We are at your command. <laughs> you just be like, ugh, whatever makes him happy. Highness, it is an honor to have you here. 
Have you come to watch these brave warriors do battle in your honor? Your presence encourages the fighters to greater feats. I'll call the first fighters in a moment. I hope you're enjoying the proving so far. Good day, Lady Idukin. My lady? We will take a break when we are done here. For now, we are here to serve. The Lady Idukin may take as much time as she likes. Fantastic! Just fantastic! But I can't see anything, though. What? I love how like, these all look really filled and we're just like in the higher one. Like it's meant to be better viewing but really because you can't lift the camera you're like oh you can't see anything. No there's really anything going on down there anyway. But yeah, that's interesting. My lady. Your wish is our command. It's so weird because it was like, oh we're gonna show you something and then it kinda showed you nothing. So that was a waste. <laughs> The funny thing is like it's sort of commoner ground but like there is a further ground which is like like dirt poor ground. <laughs> Sorry, click. Click 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 click. Look, the Grey Wardens are here. Might I many thanks for your willingness to hear me out, my lady. I wish to speak to you of a matter most urgent. It looks as if the heads of House Bimo and Mino are keeping your father busy, which leaves you plenty of time for our dear old friend, Lord Dace. You're a credit to your caste, Sir Gorham. I've always said so. If I had a daughter, I'd give her to you and make you the noble you deserve to be. You honor me, my lord. First, let me congratulate you on your commission. Two of King Endrin's children now commissioned war leaders. It does great honor to your house. Of course, I didn't stop you just to express my loyal affections. But there is a vote coming before the assembly next week. And a word from you could go a long way towards helping our cause. The vote concerns the status of the so-called surface caste. Lost to the stone, air-touched, and so forth. Centuries ago, narrow-minded men declared that any dwarf who left to live on the surface forfeited his caste and his house if noble. That he was, in essence, no longer a dwarf. I seek only to remedy an injustice, to retie the bonds of anyone who can trace himself to one of the noble houses wherever he may live. Please, agree to speak for this noble cause. When your father presents you to the noble houses, I will ask for your opinion on the matter. You have merely to say that you feel our surface brothers should be returned their noble rights. Or to be more simple. You're a fool. Your mother would melt the stone if she knew what you just did. Lord Dace is playing you false. Go ahead, be his puppet. Your first command will be marked by every major house turning their back on you. If you are to play in the games of the Assembly, make sure you know the motivations of the players. 
Last spring, a guild from the Merchant Cast invested heavily in an expedition with a guild from the surface. Lord Dace backed the Merchant Guild, pouring a great deal of money into the venture. The expedition was a disaster. Clever child. Lord Dace lost a great deal of money and prestige. The Surface Guild has no way to repay the investment, but it does have several leading members who are descended from noble houses. House Helmy, Bimo, I Dukin. You begin to see the whole picture. Your house and mine would be forced to pay the Surfacers' kin debts. It would be a great victory for Lord Dace. If you call his bluff, then you lose your chance to turn the tables. Let him think he has you. Smile and nod, and when he asks his question, tell him that the so-called surface cast are right where they belong. That should take Lord Dace down a peg or two. You're welcome. Remember this when my house needs your assistance. What was that? She literally glitched out. She's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> the point was the okay, so oh, Duncan's here. Greetings, my lady I Dukan. It is an honor Hello, to Duncan. meet you at last. At last, have you been waiting for me? Not as such, but your father never misses a chance to boast of your skill and bravery. He says you may be the most skilled warrior in all of House I Dukan. Yeah, Your humility aside, I have no doubt you will be a fighter of great renown. We need more Grey Wardens like you, and quickly. Even as the Darkspawn weaken here in Ozimor, they are stirring on the surface. A blight has begun. Soon the fight must go beyond the deep roads, lest the Darkspawn threaten all the world. Hmm. What if I would allow me to join you? <laughs> Alas, I do not think he would take kindly to that suggestion. As the child of the king and heir after Lord Trion, your place is here. You know of our dedication to destroying the Darkspawn, our frontline presence during a blight. What else would you know? Over the centuries, many dwarves have made names for themselves in our order. These days, however, there are fewer Dwarves, and thus even fewer Dwarven Grey Wardens. A pity, since Dwarven Warriors have the most experience fighting Darkspawn. Being a Grey Warden means abandoning all ties to your old life. It means dedicating yourself to destroying the Darkspawn. Yeah, that is like a no, you're being an idiot character, like, no, you can't do that. Uh... I wish I could join you. Truly. Then I will speak to your father after tomorrow's battle. I have my doubts he will relent, but there is always hope. Until then, good luck to you. Show the Darkspawn what your people are made of. That's the thing, like, I get, like, what she's trying to say, like, he's, like she was saying, oh, I was trying to swandle you for, like, if he wants his money back, but then he's also doing a good thing. But then if he did that first, then it would be fine. But he's not, and it's like, ugh, I just. Uh... It's like, uh, I could, I could like do this. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> you return. Were my instructions unclear? You keep three up because I could turn. And what did she have to say? She said I see. Nice. Some preposterous story, I'm sure. Well, that's good. Excuse me then. Oh, we just disappeared. What? 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 He just vanished? He literally just popped away? Okay. This game is a bit glitchy. Um. Not intentionally glitchy. 
<laughs> but it, it has my cheeks. Reconsider. Trade contracts alone could bring great prosperity to our houses. Will we really turn our back on our brothers and a potential fortune in cheap labor because of a political technicality? Denial of the traditions of our people does not qualify as a political technicality. <laughs> there is more to life than monetary gains, my lords Bimo and Mino. The assembly of Kal Sharak will respect the rule of Ozamar, or they will rot and die alone, surrounded by enemies. Yes, my king. But look! We have company to spare us further wrangling. A trast vala, my sweet daughter. How fine you look in your grandmother's armor. Are you ready to be presented to the heads of the noble houses? These rituals have their place. It behooves you to get to know the nobles and let them know you. Lords, ladies, grant me a moment of your time. We are here today so I may present to you my second eldest child, blessed by the stone and born of the blood that ran in the veins of the Paragon Idukan. Who would pose a question to the prospective commander? Who seeks to know the prospect better? No? Very well then. The ritual is complete. I give you Orzammar's next commander. Tomorrow, our newest commander will lead part of a mission to strike a great blow to the Darkspawn. Not only does this recover access to some of our most important minds, but it also allows our honored guest Duncan, head of Ferelden's Grey Wardens, to strike far into the deep roads. Thank you, King Endrin. While the Darkspawn seem to withdraw, it is only because they are massing on the surface. This could mean a blight, and my men and I will discover the truth. We are honored to have you with us, my friend. Now, feast, drink, and celebrate, for the morning brings battle! As for you, my new commander, find your brother Trian and send him to us. He may be watching the Brugans, or getting some rest in his rooms. Walk well, commander. So basically, I go to a feast, and I can't have the feast. Okay, cool. Okay, I get it. I'm not well liked. I'm not allowed to have a feast. <sighs> I don't know where I am because this place is like a maze. Uh, where am I? I'm here, and I'm heading the wrong way. I think for a toe, isn't it? Yeah. So I go through here. Go for the long neck bit. Uh, yeah, I'm going the right way. So you are a commander now, in name at least. Shouldn't you be attending our King Father? Of course he does. We must discuss strategy before tomorrow's battle. Balin, stay here and stroke the new commander's conceit if you like. But then get to bed. All day I've put up with that. He can really grate on the nerves. And what I'm going to tell you next won't make you any more fond of him. Big sister, Trian is going to try to kill you. I overheard him giving orders to some of his men, and I was shocked. Then it began to make sense. Trian's decided you're a threat to his taking the throne. Maybe he's right. Trian's the named prince, but only the Assembly can proclaim a king. It would be unusual for the Assembly to ignore the king's choice, but it does happen. The founder of House Bimo became a paragon and king in one move from the Assembly, and he was a commoner. That was an extraordinary case. 
But at least a half dozen times the assembly named a lesser family member, or even someone from another house, as king. Twice, it was a woman. Look at it from his perspective. You're more personable than he's ever been. If you win glory against the Darkspawn tomorrow, it will only strengthen the case for you as the next heir. Trian Fear's father will replace him on the spot. If not, the Assembly will surely turn against him when father dies. You know his pride will never allow him to step aside. It seems Trian has shown that brothers can't always be trusted. I am next in line. If Trian succeeds in his plot against you, how long do you think I'll live? Permission to speak freely? Trian would make a terrible king, but no one wants to say it. He has just enough backing in the assembly to make it ugly when your father dies, but not enough to become king. Killing him now makes your house stronger and saves a great deal of bloodshed later. Very well. I'll keep my eyes open. I don't want to lose my dearest sister. You're welcome. I'm taking your place as Father Second, so I'll be at hand tomorrow. For now, try to get some sleep. May the Paragon smile down on you. So it wants to murder me. Trion and his men will clear the way for the Grey Wardens to descend into the easternmost caverns. Those caverns are still infested by the worst of the Darkspawn. We is cannot that, risk our own like troops a in there. Okay. Understood, it's Lord Haramont. We bits. should be able to sense the Darkspawn and avoid them once avoid the way is open. open. May the Paragons favor you, and the stone catch you if you fall. Like, I've never done this Come route, but a lot of it always seems to sort of like have similar dialogue to other like stuff. You and your men will second the king, clearing the main road. Don't you think it looks a little cowardly to allow these humans to take our place where the fighting is thickest? Are you questioning the battle plan? Of course not. I'm sure your caution is for the glory of us all. Enough, Palin. Take your men and make ready. Paramount and I need to have words with your sibling. Wow. Good luck, my sister. Your father has a special mission for you in the eastern deep roads. There is a secret door carved into the stone. The door leads to a tide, abandoned long ago by your ancestors. The Darkspawn have made it impossible to reach it. My father believed that the shield of the Paragon Idukan remains in that tide, under the stones of the central room. We claim the shield, and glory will be yours. My father's writings speak only of the shield. There may be countless other treasures, but only the shield matters. We've sent two scouts ahead to make sure the tunnels are cleared. But be careful. One of the scouts will meet you at the first crossroads you come to. The second will be further in. When you get to the door, use your signet ring to open it. Questions? Very good. The crossroads where you meet the first scout will be the rendezvous point. There you can present the shield to the lords and demonstrate the strength of Idukin. May the ancestors watch over you, my child. God, I always hated. I always hated these caves and stuff. Oh great, there's gonna be spiders in there. Why is it forced to go? Oh, I hate you. I already yes. hate you. Can I tell you, I already hate you. I hate spiders. And they have like different forms in this one. It's really cool, but at the same time, it's like, uh, it's good. Do you have anything for me since I've killed you? No, you've got no sparklies. Okay. Yes, I know basics. <sighs> hey, spiders. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, so stuff is cool. I got on the trap though. Ah, stupid. I'm stupid. Get out of the trap. Okay, cool. Nothing else. Nothing good. You can tell Doug's one of my kids because I barricade. Commander, did you run afoul of any dark spawn? As you say, honor them. Okay, so I've got a team now. Okay, that's cool. Uh, slowly making a team. And I can't go that way because you can't jump in this game. This jump button is a pause button. <laughs> the Inquisitor doesn't really learn how to jump until, like, the third game. But then again, it's like Assassin's Creed, it's like, wait, you can jump. It's even like, actually, um, Link. Because Link can jump for quite a while. It was simple with game characters not being able to jump for like ages until like a later on the game. Oh, it's dragged. Oh, it was. Sparkly, have you got yes. anything good? Yes, you have something good. Okay. Our potions are good. There's that door All left. Right. That's Bob, so you go for a lot of money. That's a dead end. I don't know where I'm going. Don't you know it? These are dead ends. I don't know where I'm going. See, these are dead ends. I'm gonna get up. There you go. I can get up. I just want to check on this. Okay. Because when they're shiny, you check on this. Uh, yeah, I can tell that. Can you do it? Okay. Can you do it? Your warriors aren't you? Of course. Well, so the lines of warrior. It's another dead end. There's another dead end. That's because I went into the bit that had the dark spawn, so I might need to go around. Oh, this camera's horrible. I find you're it. here. I thought the dark spawn had got you for sure. I'm hurting and I'll kid. make sure I'm behind you if we're swarmed. We want the tunnel ahead, but there are dark spawn tracks all over it. Be careful. I'm with you.
just said like, this is wonderful. It's like, okay, sure. Sure, that's wonderful. Oh, that's shiny now. Huh. I don't even know where I am. Um, I must be going the right way. It's got an X. X marks the stop spot. Looks like someone beat us to the door. This darkspawn body is still fresh. Whoever opened the door is most likely still in there. I see the power. It could have been stolen, recently, or generations back. Or it could be an ambitious cousin out for his own glory. Understood. Let's move, men. Go for the Mr. Brother. Because he's obsessed with glory. Look at that. That's quite good lava considering how this game is. <laughs> so glad you could finally join us. We feared you'd gotten eaten by Darkspawn. Turns out the shield isn't quite as easy to retrieve as I was led to believe. I wager you know where it is, though. So maybe you tell me where it is, and I don't let my boys have a go at you before I kill you. I'm your better, that's who. And as to how I got in, that's a question you'll have to ask the stone after I butcher you. Now where's the shield? Bit for bite, eh? Both of us banking on killing the other and losing nothing by the telling? Very well. One of Prince Trian's men brought me this ring. It opened the door just fine. Now where is the sodding shield? Oh, she's a funny one. Just what I needed. Now Please kill these idiots. <laughs> we are the shields. <laughs> Signet ring? It would have been a major victory to get the shield first, but he showed his hand and failed. The first way we can hurt him is to find that shield ourselves. You have your orders, boys. Huh. Oh. Oh. 
room. How do we get the shield? You two, see if you can spot anything. It seems some of these tiles are different from the others. Right behind you. We should hurry. We should keep moving. That's it. We've got it. Doesn't look like much. The skill of our crafters has come far since then. But still, a shield of Idukan. If it helps rally the troops, it's a good thing. Back in the direction we came from, at the crossroads. To the crossroads. Did you hear that? Those mercenaries.
Atrian were really scheming against us, this would be the perfect place for an ambush. We've got the shield, and we're all alone out here. Of course. What's that you're muttering about? Right you are, Commander. <laughs> Noise for. <laughs> okay. I've been in a nice broken beginning I've been in in a while. Wait, did I go backwards? Because it confused me. Yeah, it did. Okay. You, you really messed with me, guys. But damn it. <laughs> Went the wrong way because it was playing with me. So, where am I? So, I'm this one. Stone, it's Trian. It must have been a dark spawn attack. This doesn't look like dark spawn. No bites, no scratches, no mutilation. Someone's coming. Father, before it's too... I've got a feeling he tried to frame us now. Oh great, we've been framed a bit. By all the ancestors, what has happened here? It seems we weren't fast enough. Valand was right. My daughter, tell me this isn't what it looks like. Just long enough to slay Trian. My lady is innocent. Sir Gorham, your loyalty makes you a useless witness. It falls to others to tell the story. You, Scout, what happened here? Trian and his men were here early. It seems they'd done battle with the Darkspawn. Lady Idukin came up to them, all friendly-like. But when we got close, she ordered us to attack. It is a valid question. The man is lowborn and could easily be bought. Brandlin Ivo, you are a good and noble man. Did the scout speak the truth? He... he did, my lord. It was terrible. Prince Trian didn't stand a chance. Afterward, my lady stripped his signet ring. You treacherous bastard! Silence, Gorham! Do you have anything else to say, my daughter? I want to believe that. I really do. Bind her. She will be judged before the assembly. To Orzammar.
And yep, we've been framed, which isn't really surprising because I think Bellanino was trying to be nice. He wasn't really nice. But yeah, I can level up now. Level up. That's why I'm gonna leave this. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there now. Uh, see, we're now we're in prison and it eventually will solve itself in some way. I don't know how. Um, it will and will probably be saved by the fact of Duncan wanting us as a warrior but it is sad because it's like oh we've been framed like our own like our siblings the one that we thought we couldn't trust is the one we should have trust which doesn't surprise me because I think in when you choose them both aren't as good as each other they're both is just as bad they both have problems so <laughs> it doesn't surprise me too much there it just means it's going to get really complicated because i'm trying to think i think it's someone yeah because he kills him anyway so you've got burn and you've got another character which you have to choose between and they're both just as bad as each other so they have problems no, no, that's, that's going to be quite weird to come back and have to be like, brother, I'm back. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I think that's going to be funny because you, this one, you're a bit more like, yeah, I don't trust him, I'm going to go for the other guy, just because I know what he's like, which is sad, but the majority of that's normal in early Roman, like, royal families and any sort of royal family in the olden days used to kind of like kill each other just so they can get a throne which didn't always work because sometimes someone outside of the throne would get in to simply because of the portrayal that has happened so yeah I wonder how that will play out later on but I'm gonna leave it um so I end my stream for now because I don't get a lot of time, so these streams will really just be random <laughs> until I can actually have a set time in life, but uh, being a student, working, kind of makes it hard, like, super hard just to find time. And then I live with my boyfriend, so trying to do this and not have him over talking is kind of hard, especially since he might have been hearing, like, sirens and stuff going off today, because I'm near, like, a road, so... Yay! <laughs> Not the greatest, greatest place, but it, it, it's something, and you know, it's I'm learning. Like, this is working pretty good, so the internet here is not bad. So, it hadn't seemed to like stopped. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this here. I'll probably resume if either by streaming or by recording it, because then I might be able to cut out some of the, uh, or like speed it up where it's like. <laughs> Thing. and then tell them the glitchy bits because like in this there's a lot of like glitchy moments and I'm just like why <laughs> okay but yeah um I might try and figure out how to get Billy to work on here where I can actually get it on big screen and stuff because for some reason it kept like jumping it around the screen and it didn't really want to let me but I think that's because the Xbox emulator for it didn't work too great um well this game is actually a PC game so <laughs> Which shows quite a lot. Um, yeah, I might play more relaxing games one day. I might have a day where I'm like, we should go chill. We'll play some Slime Rancher or something. Or Cattails. Um, if I ever get a disk drive, I might play some older games. Like, if I ever go home and pick up some, like, the older games I have. Because I do like a lot of games. And, like, there is a way to run older games on a Windows 10. Because my dad's figured it out. Because... He's a Windows, <laughs> like he's he's physical like copy guy. He he loves games and he's kept all the games we had when I was little. I think we've only given a few to my like nieces in the last few years, but not many. 
because it, it's hard to get him to work now. So sometimes we're like, oh, it's not worth it because my siblings aren't great at like figuring that sort of stuff out. <laughs> Unless you're really interested in it, it's just not worth it. But um, I might do that. Do some older games, like something like some stupid like silly kid games I used to play. Because I've got like My Little Pony. Like it was really weird because you had a pony and you had to try and get her into the village, but I could never. As a kid, get her into the village, but you had like a load of mini games in the village, so it was quite cool. It wasn't like it was the old My Little Pony brand where they were a bit more thicker, <laughs> not like these little small drawings, but um, like the 80s one, which was good. But it is kind of funny now because it's like, oh, I would like to play a lot more older games, and I'm thinking of getting like a good USB like disk driver because sadly now most computers don't come with installed CD drivers which is really annoying like they have the shell but it's like if you're not grey at it but I do want to eventually invest getting a shell but it's just because me and my boyfriend we both don't have dri like DVD drivers so we can actually share the driver <laughs> so he can use it and I can use it because he doesn't even have a shell so once I eventually will be able to put a shell in he can just keep the driver but yeah, because um, I do want to get like Dragon Age 2 because it's on the same, it was made on the same um, platform as Dragon Age, the same t system they use for this. So it's not like I can't run it on my computer, luckily enough, but I would love to be able to play it. But I can only have it as a physical copy because <laughs> EA on their main page charts too much where this was on Steam still where they've taken Dragon Age 2 off and I got this for like really cheap with all the DLC included for like three pounds so it's always good to keep an eye on out if you like Dragon Age and you want all the DLC because you couldn't afford it as a kid like younger because on the Xbox <laughs> or any like the other consoles it was on like PlayStation 3 it charged like it still does it now because I had it I didn't play it that long ago because a friend introduced me into it and I was like oh yeah I played about 50 hours into it until the Xbox kind of just died because it was my brothers who played it for about 10 15 years and it was already having red rings and all oh, that's horrible but um yeah i really want to do a lot more games and do a little bit more but i'm not <laughs> like time efficient wise but then i am going to make it so these are rewatchable on youtube if they're not on steam so people can actually watch these because I like doing that because sometimes it's easier just to stream because you just do a whole load and I don't have to do any editing because like I say I haven't got a lot of time I've got coursework to get done I've got things to do but I enjoy doing this as an extra um, I don't think many people are watching at all <laughs> but more likely to be played back than anything else but I just like playing games and I would like it if in the future people do recommend games to me especially once I start playing some more like not something you normally would play because I will probably if I do get a disc driver every so often go into a charity shop or something and pick up a really obscure game I'll probably sell it off later on because I can't keep it but I've seen a lot of like education games around and things like that are really cheap and or just go in CX which some Americans won't know but it's just a second-hand sort of store where you trade in games and films and then you can buy them off them as well they make a lot of business but you can get a lot of stuff that you usually can't get and you do usually get um cover on some things just not so much it's only that day and it's a bit of a pain but if you get anything like computers and stuff they will give you like a year or two years depending what it is um what's going on at the time but I do like going there because I do PC games as well. I've seen Dragon Age, the physical copy, and I have sometimes wanted to get it just because I had the physical. Because I am a physical person. <laughs> I do like physical stuff. I've been brought up with physical games. And when I go home, it's like my dad's area in the kitchen is like his area in the kitchen. And, well, not the kitchen, um, the places to sit down and eat dinner on the table. And we have loads, just so many games we've collected over the years. I even want to try it at some point. I might, if he lets me borrow it, play Discworld because I know I can get that running now because he's been running Theme Hospital because of one uh, two point hospital that came out and he's been gotten back into Theme Hospital because that's what the new game is based on and it's very similar in that sense of humour and everything. Um, 
but yeah, I want to play Discworld because how often do you see Discworld now? It's sort of just gone, and I feel sad because. I love Discworld so much. I grew up playing on it on a really chunky laptop my dad had that couldn't run the internet anymore and it had that annoying AOL sound because I used to try and get on the internet as a kid. It didn't really work. But the battery in that has sort of died. Like it needs a new battery because it can't hold battery and even if you keep it plugged in, <laughs> you still can't run. It's like I got, I think I've got one game on Steam now I know I can actually get a USB disk drive and all that, I'm not going to do it again. But I did pick up, like, an airplane game I played as a kid on Steam, because it had, you can just easier and more play it, because it's kept up to date and it can run on Windows 10, and I didn't want to try and fiddle around trying to figure out how to get it working, where now I know how to do it, and it's like, I feel stupid, because I could have been running a lot more games <laughs> at home for quite a while, and then I couldn't. And now I'm here, I can't do it, because I can't connect up to my dad's disk drive, so it's like, oh... Because he's the only person that has a main computer. Um, but it is, it's good. It's, it's fun. I'm also thinking, like, eventually investing into getting one of those um, recorders so you can record through other consoles. Because I, me and my boyfriend play a lot of different games on different consoles, and it'd be nice just to record something different. Because um, my computer can't handle a lot. Sadly, like I was thinking, oh, I could try and do Soma, but one, it's a big game, and I have to like kind of install, uninstall a lot of stuff for it to work, and then my I don't have the right graphic card for it, so it wouldn't really work one at all. It would probably just been glitchy, and I was like, I'm not gonna dare it. Um, I'll probably let my boyfriend have that if he wanted to play it, because it probably work better on his computer than mine. Um, but it's still free, and I thought I get it because eventually in the far future I might even get a stronger one than this. This is just because I like playing games, and also because coursework related stuff, this actually runs better than my last one, which was more like, oh, you do like your essays, but that's about it, and yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm wanting to do more eventually, and more different stuff. It might be random, it's like I don't have dead day times, because like I say, I work, and work is a bit random on the rotors. Um, and then, obviously, class work, I need to keep on top of it, so sometimes that's more my priority. But like I say, these will always be on YouTube, so stuff won't really be missed. And at the moment, since I have got my Prime on here, it's saving videos, but that might change in the future, so that's why I'm making sure it's gone over to YouTube. So they're kept. <laughs> oh, God. I've got them. Because... <laughs> I'm only a student <laughs> a day, so I get slightly extra benefits now, but that will change in the future, and I don't want to lose this, because it's showing the fact that as time goes on, I've grown learning this <laughs> stuff. Especially at the beginning of this, it was like a lot of hiccups, because it was like, oh, we could play Billy, oh, um, no, actually we could play Dragon Age, because it's not going to let me try and sort out Billy, and that. it probably would be helpful that sort of thing to have two monitors <laughs> to have another like tv monitor but i probably can only do that if i'm at home because then i would be able to do it i can hook up to my tv because that's where my desk is so i can hook it up and two monitors see what i'm doing edit stuff and not have to like go off the game itself because it's on another screen um but i can't really do that here because limitations yay <laughs> but um Sorry, I've been ranting for a good 10 minutes at the end of this, but I just felt like it'd be good to note down stuff I wanted to do. Uh, problematics, because I know if anyone ever came to me in the future, I'd be like, ah, I did say it once, but I can say it again. I'm a student, so time management is sort of hard. So it's kind of random. I want to try and do a, like, a stream every once in, like a week, or a recording once a week. Um, but my channel is a bit random because it's like, oh, games, and then, ah, oh, and it's kind of between the two, but I'm not too bothered. It's just basically learning and <laughs> getting better at what I'm learning. But it's hard to do it in bits, so. But I might be able to record with my boyfriend across the room, because sometimes you do put these earphones in, thing, but you might hear him complain. But that's about it, because he usually plays uh, League of Legends. Uh, but, yeah. Well, I'm going to leave that here. I might play more Dragon Age Origins on this storyline. Um, 
for you. I might play another game. Um, I say if I get a describe, but that'll probably be next month. Cause money. <laughs> but I would like to get a disk drive. Um, I might nick some games from home as well next time I go home. Because, like I say, I'd like to pick up some of the kiddie games I had and just go for them. Because I saw, like, uh, Bruno Moose do some of it and he played a lot of games I had. Because I was one of those kids that used to be like, oh, dogs, I want a game because it had dogs in it. And they weren't always that great. <laughs> Um, they were quite long winded or just a bit boring but I used to play them for ages and I think a lot of them I used to unlock a lot of stuff because <laughs> it was like easy and stuff I used to like where trying to play Discworld when you're like seven is sort of like uh dad how do I do this <laughs> I'm stuck it's like it literally just starts I'm stuck <laughs> basically so most of the time it's more like me watching my dad play it than me actually playing it. That's why I kind of want to play it now, just for the sake of... I remember the voice acting, I remember trying to play it, but because I was a idiot seven-year-old, I didn't understand what I was playing. <laughs> I might play Monkey Island because I've got both one and two on here. I can always reinstall and play them at some point. I might do it if I'm knowing I can do, like... But this might be like a special or something. I'll be like, I can do four or five hours. So we're going to play full on. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll see. Because this sort of game is really better to play. Like out two hours, three hours of it. But like I say, time restrictions. It's cool. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to leave that here. Um, I should really leave it here now. Because I keep saying that. And then I go on another rant. And I'm not that great. But yeah, I'm going to leave that. Thank you for all for watching. Are watching or watching this on YouTube or see stream, like we're watching the stream because you're like, oh, Dragon Age. Thank you. Um, because if anyone describes or just messages me or just say, you're really crap at this. But it was entertaining. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I know I've got a lot to learn. I need, know I need to learn how to use the software better, but... It takes time, and it takes time because I haven't got a lot of time so <laughs> to do it. But I just want to try and enjoy. I'm not expecting to make money out of this. I don't really expect a lot of people to subscribe. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just doing this because I want to, and that's cool because <sighs> I know I'm a noob. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, this was Dragon Age Origins with our dwarf, unicornish, with our silly face. And maybe we'll be back to have another adventure in the future. Bye!